Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be covering all of the new changes made to the desert biome in 1.4. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Anyways, let's get into the video. Up first, I'll be going over changes made to the actual biome. There hasn't been too much change for the surface other than the addition of the oasis mini biome. The oasis contains a body of water with some trees surrounding it. The oasis can be a great spot for fishing because you can obtain new crates which I'll talk about later on in the video. The biggest changes came to the underground desert. Now, there are new houses with chests containing loot only found in the desert, which I'll also go over later. There are also new traps including antlion eggs, rolling cactus, and even falling sand traps. The sheer amount of traps and enemies can make exploring the underground desert very difficult in the early game. Also, be on the lookout for the golfer NPC he can be found and talked to in the underground desert. Now, let's go over the items. The 1.4 update added a total of 9 new items to the desert. All of the items you'll see here are found in sandstone chests or crates fish from the desert. Up first, we have the Storm Spear and Thunder Zapper. The Storm Spear and Thunder Zapper are both weapons that are great for early pre-hard mode. The Storm Spear is a melee weapon and it also shoots out sparks. It has a pretty long range considering that it's a melee weapon. The Thunder Zapper is a mage weapon that has a fast fire rate. It is a great alternative to something like a gem staff. I would say these weapons are pretty viable until Eater of Worlds and Brain of Cthulhu. The Magic Conch is an item that teleports you to the ocean. It's basically like a magic mirror that teleports you to the ocean. This can be a great item if you don't already have an ocean pylon. You can also use it to teleport to the dungeon quicker. The Snake Charmer's Flute is an item that summons a rope snake. This item can be useful for exploring and even finding sky islands. The rope can reach a height up to 80 blocks. The Dune Rider boots are an accessory that are basically the Hermes boots. But when you run on sand, you will gain a speed boost. You can also craft them into Spectre boots, but they will lose the ability to run on sand super fast. The Ancient Chisel is an accessory that increases mining speed by 25%. This is useful for digging out large areas or for a elevator. The Bass Statue is a placeable item that grants plus 5 defense to players nearby. You should place this in your arena to make boss fights a little bit easier. The Encumbering Stone is an item that prevents you from picking up items. This can be useful if you're mining out a elevator, so no blocks will clutter your inventory. Finally, our last item is the Desert Minecart. The minecart is slightly faster than the default one and provides a unique look. In the 1.4 update, they also added a new fishing rod the Scarab Fishing Rod. It has a 25% fishing power and can be obtained from an Oasis or Mirage crate. Speaking of crates, the Oasis and its hard mode counterpart, the Mirage crate, can be fished from the desert. They contain loot that you can find in sandstone chests. When you fish in the desert, you can also find oysters, flounders, and rock lobsters. Flounders and lobsters are used for food items, and the oyster can contain pearls, which are used for luck potions. And before the video ends, I just want to mention that there is a new biome chest for the desert. I won't be talking about it today because I plan on making a video for all biome chests. 
So guys, that will be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, join my Discord. Sorry for the lack of uploads recently, I'm trying to get a video out once a week. And yeah, thanks for watching.